President Tsai Ing-wen today visited a leading textile company in her first stop of a tour of successful Taiwanese firms. She took the opportunity to tout her administration's achievements in promoting industrial growth in Taiwan. Afterwards, she answered questions from reporters about her party's future relationship with the embattled NPP. She also weighed in on China's clampdown on period dramas ahead of the 70th anniversary of the PRC. The media watched on as President Tsai tried on functional jackets made by Eclat, a manufacturer of elastic fabrics and sportswear and one of Taiwan's listed textiles companies on the stock exchange. Several international sportswear brands are Eclat's clients, and this company was picked to be the first stop on President Tsai's tour of successful Taiwanese firms. Now is really the best time to invest in Taiwan. We also see very many Taiwanese businesses with production bases here, in mainland China or in other places. They are also continuing to increase production in Taiwan. The president touted her administration's achievements in hopes of making a breakthrough in election campaigning. She also fielded questions about the MPP's indecisiveness over whether to back her for the 2020 election, which even made MPP lawmaker Freddie Lim quit the party. Legislators Freddie Lim and Hong Su Yong of the NPP are extremely conscientious and talented people. We hope that they can continue to work hard. As for what kinds of joint efforts or joint cooperation models the DPP may have with the NPP, I think Party Central will follow our decision-making mechanisms to communicate with them and make policy decisions. The president wouldn't say much on the sensitive topic of relations with the NPP, but she had a lot to say over the PRC's decision to stop broadcasts of trendy soap operas and period dramas in order to celebrate the 70th anniversary of its founding. The Chinese side has made a series of incorrect decisions that have left us puzzled and worried. We don't need to wait for this to become history. We already see very clearly that this string of decisions is a strategic mistake. These criticisms of China from President Tsai highlight the differences between Taipei and Beijing and the importance of protecting Taiwan's democracy and freedom.